and Lindsay Cash, who's here in studio, had an opportunity to catch up with Tyler Patman. Lindsay. Thanks, guys. There are countless players who chase their dream to play in the NFL. And for many, when they aren't drafted, their dream dies. Tonight, we're giving you a small glimpse into the journey of a Dallas Cowboy who wouldn't take no for an answer as we go beyond the gridiron with Tyler Patman. Playing in the National Football League might seem like a glamorous job, and in some moments, it is. But training all offseason before dawn is a complete grind. Tyler Patman considers it a gift. Stay low, stay low, stay low and get on the balls of those feet. After training and preparing for months leading to the NFL draft in 2014, defensive back Tyler Patman's name was never called. It was something that could be stressful. You know, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to, you know, end up coming up in your career. Uh, you don't know if your career is going to continue. So, um, you know, it was just a thing where I had to keep my faith, keep my faith in God and keep pushing and grinding and, um, you know, keep, keep confidence that I know I can play in this league and, and just wait for my opportunity. Formerly an Oklahoma State Cowboy, Patman was invited to the Dallas Cowboys rookie minicamp tryout and was the only player the staff decided to keep after that weekend. He traveled to training camp in Oxnard, competed for a roster spot in preseason games, and ultimately made the 53-man roster. You might remember Patman's highlight reel play against the Arizona Cardinals when he picked off Carson Palmer and returned it 58 yards for a touchdown. Throws it over the middle, intercepted at the 40-yard line. Coming left to the 40, to the 30. It's Tyler Patman down the left sideline. Tyler Patman scores! Tyler Patman, his first professional interception and touchdown. Tyler Patman hooks the Cowboys up. I knew, I knew what I could do. I knew I could play in this league. It was all about the opportunity. And, um, you know, I had to thank Jerry Jones and Coach Garrett and the Cowboys for giving me that chance. And, you know, I just made sure I stayed focused, stayed working, stayed hungry. And, um, you know, when I got my chance, I was able to make a play. Patman is driven day in and day out by a belief that he is lion-hearted. You may have seen this name on his Twitter or Instagram. His small circle of influence, including his trainer, Ronnie Real Truth Braxton, witness his lion-hearted tendencies every single day. He calls himself Lionheart. I take that seriously because, you know, anybody can label themselves as a lion heart. But like he is like the definition of a lion heart when you know where he's came from. We don't miss holes and we don't mess up ladders. The heart of a lion. Nobody's gonna outwork me. Nobody's more hungry than me in the league. And you know, I take pride in that, you know. Um, Ever since I was little, man, people have over, overlooked me. And um, I've taken pride in, in showing them that, you know, I'm great, I can be great, you know, and I'm, and I'm gonna take pride in going out there and showing that I can do it. You just saw a small glimpse of what an NFL offseason workout looks like with Tyler's trainer, Ronnie Braxton. Next week, we'll go in depth with what all that workout looks like. One drill Braxton even says makes grown men cry. And of course, I tried it. Steve, Bill, back to you guys.